Hey everybody, this is Oz from First Up Taste Now and we are in Istanbul Regional and we are with 6941 Iron Pulse. We're gonna be talking about their good robot, their sharpshooter and agile chases. We are with Julian, Alan and Ethan. So, all this will be on behind the bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So Julio, let's talk about your chases. Yeah, our cha uh, we have a sword chases, which uh, is our four customized sword, because it's hard to get the parts from uh, SDS or, M uh, or MK from China. Yeah, so we made our own customized sword. They're cheaper and easier to, uh, to get. And our swerve is powered by also a pigeon tube, which let it can be field orientated and it's easier for the driver to drive. And it's also fast as a swerve drive and also agile. It can easily go through defenses, like swing around, pass through defenses, hitting the uh, source and get the load fast. So let's, let's hear about your um, like the intake, like this is th these are the wheels, and this is the belt, and this is the beer, and also um, it's inside so that it can be prevented, so it won't be broken when it collides onto other ro robots. Awesome. So, what about your shooter and amp mechanics? So, I'm going to talk about our shooter. Uh, so, first of all, let's uh, see the robot uh, in a bigger uh, aspect. It is very simple, like intake, shooter, out. And uh, uh, to make uh, to make the robot to achieve uh, uh, close the barrier. Yeah. So, so if uh, to achieve different uh, like different shooting angles and uh, uh, different shots from different places in the field, we have this adjustable shooter uh, with uh, 3D printed uh, uh, 3D printed uh, like, uh, sorry, uh, parts and belts. And actually, we did many prototypes, including shooting mechanism, which is vertical, horizontal, and maybe rubber, rubber like rubber wheels and other and we find that uh, like these horizontal designs with this specific distance with closing wheels is the best solution for us because closing wheel is tough enough when you have rubber wheels like if they turn in a very fast speed it will like uh, its volume will increase and if they touch each other uh, it will be very dangerous so we use closing wheel for like a uh, reliable robot and we also add these uh, like helical gears uh, which uh, increase the uh, contact area and make it more reliable so the gears won't like slip uh, on each other. And we have this tape uh, stored uh, wheels for indexer. So when we have the node over here, it will go to the next phase, which is the shooting through this indexer. And uh, this uh, location of the wheels, make sure that the node is actually uh, like uh, touched by the most of the wheels to store it from like just shooting out. And also, uh, like our shooting is also the climber. We add this hook uh, at the bottom of the shooter. So when we are in the match and we are going to climb in the end game, we just use code to lift it up uh, through motors and use uh, uh, use uh, strings to pull down, pull down, and uh, the the, uh, the machine can hang on the chain because using uh, strings means there's a larger lever arm and it can provide more, uh, like more energy and force than simply using this motor at the, like the central of uh, uh, the rotational axis. And we also use carbon fiber, which is very uh, light and makes the uh, uh, central of gravity lower as, uh, as lower as possible 
and all these designs makes our robot uh, a reliable one on the match. Yeah, okay. and I think that's all. Thank you. Okay. So, can we hear about your software and what you're implementing to the robot? Yeah, and it's actually fun. We have three beam brakes, um, one in the beam taker and two more here. Here are two beam, uh, three beam brakes makes the intake and as fully automatic. So all the driver has to do is to press the intake button and it will automatically stop you, not touching the shooter. And we also have a light night vision, which could also uh, auto automatically track the echo tag and not only change the shooter, uh, shooter angle, but also the uh, chassis angle. The chassis will automatically point towards the echo tag so that we can shoot inside. Um, also, the shoot, shooting shooting uh, process is somehow automatic. All the, the operator has to do is press the aim button, and when it's on the right angle, he can push the shoot button and we'll automatically shoot it. And also, about our auto, maybe he's an So I will talk about, briefly talk about the uh, autonomous period. So we, uh, because of our uh, shorter intake, the autonomous must be precise enough. But actually, we just uh, we uh, we face this challenge, and through practicing autonomous uh, like uh, endlessly, we actually can um, let the robot to do the like five no auto in the match. Yeah. And so okay, guys, thank you for the video. Good luck for you for the season. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you, and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.